I think this is possibly the nicest hotel room I've ever stayed in in my life. Look at his little bathrobes. <laughs> this is just insane. <laughs> Good morning everyone, good morning, happy weekend vlog, I hope you're all doing well. First thing to note, yes I am having a piece of lemon tart for breakfast. <laughs> no judgement here please folks. Today's quite an exciting one because we are having an overnight stay. I know, and it's not in our living room in a fort. <laughs> Yeah, Zara's is here by the way, she's just putting some butter on some toast. And yeah, we're actually leaving our flat, which is very exciting. Um, I've been invited to stay uh, for one night in a hotel called the Kimpton Fitzroy, which is in the, I'm not sure where, it's busy, just down from King's Cross. We were supposed to do this last year, it got cancelled, and then we got rebooked, and then it got cancelled again, because obviously of the lockdowns and COVID, but now the restrictions are lifting in England, they invited us back down, just for one night, and... I, I cannot tell you how excited I am because it just looks gorgeous and it's, oh, I can't wait to show you. If you are planning on coming to London, sorry, I close that for you. If you are planning on coming to London um, this spring, summer, autumn, winter, whenever, <laughs> um, it's just gorgeous. So yeah, it just looks really, really nice. So we're gonna go and we're gonna have a little wander around the hotel. Have check a into, shower. Check into our room. I know we're gonna have a shower with nice water pressure and maybe put a bathrobe on. It's the little things. I feel so lucky. Like. It's unreal. And we've got dinner booked this evening. We're going for pizza. Oh, I feel like life's getting back to normal. It's wonderful. Hence why I'm having a piece of celebratory tartar citron for breakfast. We should have had Prosecco. <laughs> We're going to be checking out in the morning on Sunday. Um, so I'll just take you around London, get some cocktails, and then we'll come back tomorrow and have a chill day in the flat. My way back home. So we've just got off the tube and arrived at the hotel. This is the Kimpton Fitzroy. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you a little bit more maybe on the other side once we've checked in, but Zara's heading on in. Humming on my favourite ditty Swinging like Natalie Cole So we've checked into the hotel, well, nearly checked into the hotel. The room wasn't quite ready, so we just dropped our bags off and we came for our first meal. Well, my first meal. Zara's been out for one this week, but together, indoors, which is just so exciting. We came to Wagamama's because we love it and their vegan menu is amazing. They've also got some new vegan dishes as well, so we've tried the vegan chili squid and then also going to try their yasai pad thai, which sounds delicious. So I'll show you when it arrives. So this is the vegan chili squid. I think it's made with um, oyster mushrooms and it's got the same dipping sauce as the regular squid. And this is like my favorite thing of Wagamama, so we're gonna dig in. <laughs> Zara is not most equipped with um, chopsticks. Go on. Give it a go. <laughs> Try again. Do you want me to get you a piece and just feed you it? Go on. There we go. Dip it in. Dip it in. Oh. <laughs> just put it in your mouth, one. What do you think? It's nice, right? So the main course have arrived. I've gone for the vegan pad thai and Zara's gone for the one that I always go for. And Zara's I love it. just developed golf as Elba. Oh. <laughs> and I'd ask for a fork because she can't do chopsticks. <laughs> so we've just got a little coffee just to keep us going. I got a um, white chocolate mocha and Zara got a little caramel macchiato. Yeah, I didn't know what I was ordering. You just ordered it for me. I, I do like, that so sometimes. which one's mine? <laughs> and we're going to go get a donut from Cross Time, which I'm so excited about. I love their donuts. I'll show you one with them. So we've secured the goods, the queues start to form as well. It's literally just on Broadwick Street. Um, so we went for a classic raspberry. Open it up. We're going to share it. We're just going to have one because we've had a big lunch. So we've come back to the hotel, just have a bit of a freshen up before we head out for dinner. We've got some drinks and gone for pizza. I think this is possibly the nicest hotel room I've ever stayed in in my life. Let me show you. It's... They've provided peaches. <sighs> They've given us peaches, let me show you. So you come in through the front door and then you've obviously got this just little console unit here. I'm presuming this is going to be like the fridge. Yeah, fridge and mini bar. And then this is the little coffee station. Zara's just made herself at home in one of the two armchairs. Yeah. Even things like the panelling, it's just so to our taste. So you've got a huge mirror here. And then let me swing you round. You can see. Hello. So this is the entranceway. And there's a loo in there. I'll show you that in a second. So this is kind of like your 
living space and then you come through here i mean this takes your breath away this is just ridiculously gorgeous there's a huge four poster bed which is just amazing he, like I, I think that's a king or even bigger than a king that's your wardrobe area you've got a little radio and a telephone a desk area where you can get ready a little vanity mirror now i have a thing for bathrooms especially hotel bathrooms and this is gorgeous so you come through the double doors there are his and hers sinks with wall mounted mirrors and brass lighting and then you turn to the right and you've got the crystal door that goes into the loo and then as you turn <laughs> this is just insane you've got this beautiful roll top bath and then in here is a crystal door going into your shower like a proper huge waterfall shower with fixtures and fittings galore i mean this is just it's absolutely unreal and look we've got bathrobes we have actual bathrobes really nice soft bathrobes oh look at the bath look at this ah! i literally said to zara this is the nicest place i've ever seen in my life i cannot get over how lucky we are it's just insane let me show you the view as well so we've just opened the doors just to let a bit of fresh air in but this is the view so this is russell square just right here and you've just got the greenery and the forests. There's two balconies. It's just honestly incredible. And this is the secondary toilet in here, which is just lovely as well and very similar design to the main bathroom. I just, do you know what? I just literally said this is all. We both said like everything in here we love. We love the paneling on the walls, the marble, the brass. Do you know what I'm loving as well? It's that artwork. Yeah. Like, when you go to like old hotels, the artwork is it's really not like, so great, oh, is it? But all of these it's unreal. Are these yeah, the art is just it's gorgeous. I also popped into Zara and they had a bit of a sale on. So this shirt was originally thirty pounds, and I got it for seventeen ninety nine. I got it in an XL just because I really like the fits of my shirts to be a little bit more oversized, and I like it. It's got blue and pink in it, and I also picked up these jeans. I really like my jeans now to have a bit more movement in them. However, I think these are slightly too big. These, I used to be a 32 inch waist, and I was like, oh, I know I've lost a bit of weight, so maybe I can get a 31, but these also don't fit now. <laughs> so I need to get them in a 30, because there's enough room for probably me and Zara in here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll probably go and exchange those um, in the week. But I'm really happy, I love them. Yeah, I'll change these out, but definitely gonna keep this. Right, we're just gonna have a quick freshen up, brush our teeth, and then we're gonna head out for some cocktails. I just, I feel like I'm on holiday. <laughs> I keep on seeing it, it's just really nice. So we've just had a quick change, and I've popped on this little co-ord with my Doc Martens. So um, yeah, it's keeping it like smart casual-ish, and um, we're going to a place I used to actually call Bill's for some cocktails, and then we're gonna go to Home Slice for pizza. Zara, are you ready? Are you wearing a coat? Yeah, maybe actually, this is what Zara's wearing. Look at you, you look like a 70s model. 70s? Yeah, like with the coats and the cords and the boots. I love it. Thanks. Maybe 80s, anyway. Um, right, we're gonna go. We've came up some cocktails before we have like dinner dinner um, to a place I used to work at called Bill's in Covent Garden, which is literally just in like a little piazza. It's lovely, let me show you. So this is like the outside area. So this used to be James Italian, but it's now Dishoom. And then this is the little area here. So we're just sat on some tables. We've got the cocktail menu, so I'm gonna go for, oh, I don't think it's on this one, but it's like a gin fizz. What are you going for? It's a vodka. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> And um, we're just gonna get some pre-dinner nibbles before we go out for pizza. Cocktails have just arrived. Zara's gone for one that tastes like every alcohol there ever was. <laughs> I feel like everyone's gonna think I've got like... You love a drink? Yeah. <laughs> Mine's really nice too, try mine, it's quite sweet. Maybe I'll like that. Oh. How are you going to grab Oh, two. It's two. Uh, oh. Study on, love. Study on. Give it a sip. I thought you were blowing on it. I was like, it's not hot. <laughs> Strong, isn't it? Mm. It's a Malfi gin. It's lovely. This food has just arrived. We've got all of the hummus and halloumi with some bread and some spicy tortilla chips with some dips. I'm going to dig in. So we've just finished up dinner, well, starters. <laughs> We're walking through Seven Dars. Look how gorgeous it looks. They've got all the flower decorations up. It looks lovely. I need to loosen my belt. Look, <laughs> you need to loosen your belt. <laughs> I would like to point out that that was just the starter and we're about to have a pizza that's as large as like I think like 20 inches. It's like a 20 inch huge pizza. It's big. <laughs> I mean, well whatever we don't eat we'll take away with us. But that was lovely. So pizza's arrived. That's just for Zara. <laughs> 
Look, to give you a perspective, that's my hand and that's the pizza. Oh yeah, do it. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, so this is um, parmesan rocket and tomato and this is truffle, mozzarella and pumpkin seed and mushroom. Right, we're gonna dig in. creme fresh maple syrup <laughs> but what's that i didn't quite get that oh pancakes because i read a scottish blueberry creme fresh syrup so we've concoction. just we've just finished up having a lovely nightcap oh. in the fits which is the cocktail bar drinks bar in um in the the, the hotel and I was like, oh, Zara, I feel like someone's been in our room. They've done a, a, a turn down service, <laughs> which we're not used to because obviously we've been in inside for so long. So they put like bottles of water on our bedside table and dropped off the breakfast menu. We've actually reserved a little table in the morning. We're not going to have breakfast in bed as lovely as that would be. I actually quite enjoy. Check my socks. I bought my Grinch socks for the UK. <laughs> No, all Keeping this class. it classy, dear. You can take the Christmas out all of this, the year. All this class. Take the Christmas out of me. Um, yes, they've sent us a little breakfast menu, but we're gonna. That's the balcony, love. Sorry, I just tried to get out the balcony for the toilet. So, um, yeah, they've sent us the breakfast menu, but we're not gonna do that because we're gonna go for breakfast in the morning. So we're gonna do the bed test. We're just gonna fall into it oh, and no. test how comfortable it is. Which I'm very. It's a king size bed. I mean, I feel like I'm a prince. I genuinely feel like and I, I am. am the queen. <laughs> Two. Oh. Why? And look at all of the <laughs> space. <laughs> Why do our beds not feel like this? I can sleep in any direction on this bed. <laughs> this is two people who've been in lockdown for way too long. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to end this and I'll catch you on in the morning. <laughs> is closer than mine why don't we go there and have some more wine cause life good morning folks good morning good morning i feel like i'm having a serenity out of body experience this morning i've had a shower i've had a bath <laughs> i have <Wow. laughs> look at us in our bathrobes I had a bath we called down to the concierge and said could you delay breakfast for an hour please because I just really wanted to enjoy the room, so we had a coffee in bed. I've connected my phone to the TV, so we've got some lovely music playing. I've had a bath, I've had a shower. Oh my god, that shower. Me and Dara were literally just talking about how we could do this at home. And this shower is just insane. It's one of the waterfall showers, so you turn that on and you're just engulfed in a stream of water. And then you've also got these fixtures and fittings as well if you didn't want to get your hair wet. but. It's incredible. I've also just Googled the supplier of this. If anyone's interested, it's the St. James bathroom collection in um, gold. We're just having a discussion about how we could do like his and her sinks in the bathroom and space and things, but um, yeah, it's lovely. So we're gonna get dressed and head down to breakfast. We don't have to leave till midday, which is just lovely. I do love a later checkout and an early check-in. It really makes the most of your stay. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get dressed. Last night's drinks were delicious. I think I was a little bit tipsy when I got in. <laughs> You couldn't tell by the footage. <laughs> so we've just finished up breakfast. I was just making the most of the bed. Oh my god, that breakfast was amazing. The staff was so nice as well. It genuinely delicious. We had a veggie breakfast and then I had some toast and some pastries. I think, how many is the? There's like four dining rooms here, right? I thought you meant how many pieces of bread did you eat? Many. Yeah, if you are maybe coming to London um, and you aren't staying in the hotel, you can actually have breakfast within the spaces, which is really nice. Now I've got to leave. I don't want to leave. I really don't want to leave. I just said to Zara, like, as much as we love our flat. Looking out of your window into Russell Square. Like, this morning, look, the buses are just gone past. There's like a little fountain over there. Oh. Do you reckon if we lifted up the mattress and just slot me under there? <laughs> <laughs> They'd never know. So we're back. We're back in our um, flat. We came south of the river and then um, we've got a little cup of tea. Zara's just made me a breakfast tea, but it's the Yorkshire biscuit tea. Um, and we made a little pit stop in Tesco and got some triple chocolate shortbreads. Oh, we oh. got a lot. And also some crisps and um, a sausage roll. <laughs> 
<laughs> we can do classy, but we can also do trashy. Trashy. So yeah, we were also watching Christopher Robin on Disney, and it's brilliant. So we're having a proper cozy Sunday. Right, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. We didn't actually end up making dinner because I just wasn't hungry at all, and I just didn't really fancy it. But Zara had a little bit of pasta because she didn't have lunch. I had a um, mound of pasta. <laughs> A mound of pasta. Um, we're going to watch an episode of Dream Kitchens and Bathrooms it's on Channel 5 if you're from the UK. Um, and they're like our two favourite rooms whenever we look at houses. And we're getting all of the interior inspiration. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Having a little look around the hotel was just it's a dream. I feel like I'm so relaxed. Not ready for Monday's madness. <laughs> I feel like Monday's always a slap back to reality, but more so now. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> normality! <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much to the Kimpton. Um, I'll leave them linked down below if you want to check them out. Big love to you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.